We're going to take a wild guess and assume you've heard about the paleo lifestyle. Whether you're trying to lose weight or clean up your diet, fitness editor Lizzie Fuhr is here to give us the facts about this popular and buzzy diet. All right, so we'll talk about the basics. The paleo diet is based on the dietary habits of our cave dwelling ancestors. So we're talking wild game, lots of meat, seafood, lots of vegetables, some fruit, seeds, and nuts. So what you won't find on the paleo diet is sort of the foods that have come out of the agricultural or industrial era. So there's no grains, there is no dairy, no legumes, and in short, there is no processed food. So the mantra of paleo, if you will, is keep it clean. Mm -hmm. So we're talking hunter-gatherer, forager, that is the focus. Exactly. Now let's talk about the health benefits, which is, you know, a proponents of paleo really, you know, focus on that. So proponents of the paleo diet have said that the human body isn't really equipped to handle these foods that came out of the agricultural era. So, you know, a lot of people that have seen great success with the paleo diet are people that have suffered with, you know, digestive issues. We're talking like IBS, gluten intolerance, or even lactose intolerance. Um, people that have cut these foods out of their diet have seen great success. So that's a lot of the reason that paleo has been getting a lot of, you know, buzz and hype in the last couple of years is because, you know, when you cut out those foods, our bodies are really reaping the benefits. Okay, now another benefit that everyone is interested in is weight loss. Weight loss. So how does paleo stack up in that way? All right, so studies have shown that a diet that is high in protein and low in carbs is the best for you to lose weight. But unlike the bacon craze, low carb, mm -hmm. 90s diets that our minds kind of go to, paleo really supports having a varied source of, or varied sources of proteins. So that's something that you can really keep in mind. You're not gonna just be eating bacon and meat all the time. You can have lots of other foods that you love. All right, now you actually experienced the paleo lifestyle yourself. I did. So what is your verdict? So I really love this lifestyle change. Um, you know, after day three of kind of detoxing through the carbs, which I never thought I would be detoxing from, um, I just felt great. I had so much energy. I felt really light in my clothes. My skin looked good. Um, and I kind of skipped that whole like food coma afternoon, you know, because mm -hmm. I was eating a lot of like barley and quinoa and brown rice. So when I took those things out of my diet, I just had a lot more energy. With that said, if you're a foodie, if you like going out to eat and being social with friends in that way, you know, you can't keep this diet 100% of the time if you're going out. So I'm a big believer in the 80-20 approach. So 80% of the time, you're eating really clean, you know, keeping up with the paleo diet. 20% of the time, you're allowing for those indulgences with your friends. I think that's a way to keep it really sustainable and something that I've continued to do. Okay, so you can enjoy the, the progress of the latter half of, of human evolution. Absolutely. 20% <laughs> of the time. In moderation, right. All right, Lizzie, well, thank you so much for cluing us in on this caveman craze. Sure.